In this video, see how the Dashboard Designer allows you to connect to the Entity Framework data source using the Data Source Wizard. The current solution contains an empty web application. To add a new web form, right-click the project and select Add Web Form. Drag and drop the ASPX Dashboard Viewer Control onto the form and switch to the Design View to load a required DLL. Now add an Entity Framework model that will specify the data model. To do this, click Add New Item, select ADO.NET Entity Data Model, and click Add. This invokes the Entity Data Model Wizard. Select Code First from Database to create a model based on an existing database, and click Next. Then, specify a new connection. Specify the name of the database server as local host and select the Northwind database from the drop-down list. Click OK. This will create a new connection to the database. Click Next. Add the salesperson view to our model and finally click Finish to create a class containing the model definition. Now add a dashboard to the project. Click Add DevExpress Item, New Item, and select Dashboard. To add a dashboard data source, go to the Dashboard menu item and select Edit Data Sources. This invokes the Data Sources dialog. Click Add and choose Entity Framework. Click Next. On the next page, select the Added Data Context and click Next. Now let's select the Model 1 connection string that was added to the application configuration file on creating the new connection. The Data Sources dialog will display the created Entity Framework data source. Click OK. The field list will display the structure of the created data source. Let's add a card dashboard item to your dashboard. Drag and drop Salesperson to Series, Extended Price to Cards, and specify the order date field as a sparkline argument. Then add the chart dashboard item. Drag and drop the extended price field to values, category name to arguments, and country to series. Next, save the dashboard and go to the dashboard viewer. Specify the created dashboard as the viewer's dashboard source and switch the dashboard viewer to full screen mode. Finally, run the project to see the result. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.